Hey, welcome back, guys. So we are almost there with groups. Just a few things to iron out. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a lot. And if you are able to support me on Patreon, that'll be awesome. The link is in the description. And if you cannot support me on Patreon, uh, you can support me by letting the ads play. All right, so let's continue with our group system. So, so far we have managed to change our profile or cover image for the group. Now, the information that it's giving us here is not really corresponding to what we're doing here. So first of all, we want to be able to show the correct image, which is this image right here as the profile there. And then we're supposed to write their cover image here because of course it's a group, right? So uh, let's edit that uh, real quick. So I'm going to open my text editor with the folder that has the social website here. And let me go to, because that file right there is post.php. This is the, the, uh, the file that displays all posts. So what I want to look for is for the pronouns here, which is right there. So we have this, if it is cover image, right? This is where it is. This is where we are. And pronoun is equal to his, of course. If it's set gender and gender is equal to female, then we change that to her. But we know very well that uh, there is no gender in the group. And so how do we tell that this is actually a group? So we have to do the uh, checking here. So we'll check first of all, if the gender is female, then we change it to female. But it's very easy to just add one more else if here, like this, we're just going to duplicate this. So it's not a female and let's check for something else. Maybe it's a page or a group. Now for us to know that it, it is a group, all we have to do is check for a column that is unique to a group something that is only true uh, in a post no no this is actually for users because we are checking for the user there something that is only true when it's a um, it's a group and we could go for the owner here because group has an owner there but this is more specific type is group it's as simple as that so what we will do here and just say if the type is equal to group here but instead of doing this uh let's start with his and then i think we can go to let's go to the type and then so that we can put an else statement here before we check for the gender let's see uh, one moment here gender in here is empty so i think that still qualifies so if type is equal to group then this is going to change to there like so but let's put an else uh, statement here so that it comes to else this this way we don't waste time uh, it may look like computers are fast but these small small things do add up and slow down the running of our app so if you can put an else statement put it there because then it doesn't have to go through this if everything if if, for example, it finds what it's looking for here, then it doesn't have to go here. So this is good enough. I'll just uh, squeeze that in there like that. Okay. So I think that part will uh, give us what we needed here. So let me refresh my page. And as you can see, it says updated their cover image. So pretty good. Now, the second thing is we want to see how to add the proper uh, image here because we want to see their cover photo there because that's all they have so that image system is happening right here so here we are checking if the gender is female which it turns out it is not and so uh, now right here instead of uh, asking uh, let me do this for a second here. If the file exists, profile image, okay. 
that will not exist but we can go here instead and say cover image hmm. I see I see so what we will do is similar to what we did down there so I am just going to duplicate this a little bit and put an else statement there so of course this will be false for us and we're just going to check for the type make sure the type is group and if this is true then the image in here the default image is going to be the cover image right because that is the the cover image is wait a second here let me go to images and just make sure okay so it's called cover image right there this is the default cover image so what i will say is uh, cover underscore images so that is the default and this is going to be false of course so when it is false we're just going to put an else statement as well so let me come back here just for a second we see this one change so i will refresh like this and there you go you see it changing there yeah but because this is not a square image at all this is why it looks weird like this but we can easily make it a square image by just uh, putting an else a statement here or uh, something else we can do is just uh, create a thumbnail version of the cover image because we rarely get to do that so i think what i will do here let me copy this let's paste that one there so that we have an else if so this is going to be wrong but if file exists cover image let's do that but before we check for that let's check for group again so if and put the and so keep in mind that the way the and works is that for this to to be true for this to run it means both of these things have to be true now in the interest of saving time with computers what computers do if all conditions are set with and for example you, you can have 10 conditions here this one and that and that but as long as just the first one doesn't go through it's not going to bother checking for the second one because regardless what the second one's results are this whole thing will not run anyway because the first thing was false so it doesn't matter what's here it will just check for that this is why if you are putting two and statements like this it's better to put the easiest one to uh, the easier one first and then you deal with the others later. Ch having to check if a file exists takes more resources on the computer because it has to go to the file system it has to check for that file etc but simply checking if a text uh, some text contains the word group is much easier so this is why i put this first here so those are small small things you can adjust to make your programs run faster you have to think about such things as a program okay so here if this is true then we're just going to change this to cover image and we're going to be set but let me not put that there for a second because i want this to remain on on this part and we know that the cover image doesn't have a thumbnail so we can just get what this is offering here i'm just going to say that like this and put it there so thumb profile yeah so we're going to get a thumbnail version of the cover wait is that the cover yes it is okay so that looks much much better and because it doesn't delete the original one it just creates a, a, a thumbnail version here so this is looking much better so my first group and there we go and now uh, since we are done with that I can easily do this so that we get the actual image refresh and there we go okay so pretty good let's try and change this thing one more time now if you've noticed i am logged in as somebody else and not the one who created the group so i haven't done anything here because i want to test 
or I actually can't see the change cover and change uh, those things there. So now the reason why I'm logged in as a different user is because I wanted to show you that you, uh, anyone now can post in this group. This is simply an open group, no invitations required. Anyone can post. So I can say something like um, posting as Mary in this group. Okay. So right there, if I hit post, everything works as intended. And you can see I am posting as Mary. And of course, I can see the edit and delete buttons there because I did post this thing, but I can't see the others on this side. So this is why leveraging an existing system is good because you need to do less work. All this is already there instead of us recreating all these pages again. Okay. So, so far, so good. Now we're just going to deal with something else. How to stop people from posting who are not part of the group, because that's the sole purpose of having a group. We need to actually invite people. So I'll see you in the next video.